Hey, hey guys, so welcome to my uh, house tour. Um, so what you're looking at at the moment is the entrance to the house. Uh, that bit down there is a bit scummy. <laughs> it's where my bike goes and everything. So you've got the stairs up here. And then you enter straight into the kitchen. I'm just done with you, ladies. Um, so this is the kitchen. Once it stops doing that. There we go. So. It's not bad for a, a first kitchen, I don't think. I've seen worse, so... Oh, it really doesn't like that corner, it sets it off. Um, but yeah, that's the kitchen. Oh, that's the recycle. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's a nice kitchen. No issues. But I won't stay too long in kitchens and whatnot, because they're a bit boring. Anyway, in here, uh, with my name on it. Uh, you've already seen this bit, so I won't cover it, but... <laughs> from the kitchen, obviously, you've got my collector's cupboard. <laughs> Well, obviously you've seen all this, so I'm just going over this quickly. So that's that. I'm on my big holographic thing. Cool. So you shut the door on that. So we go through here. And uh, this is the um, hallway. See, look, I've had to buy things like that. That could have gone towards a Star Wars figure, but oh no. Um, over here you've got some more of the Star Wars figures. That one. So, that'd be cool. Uh, up here is obviously the stairwell, but we'll go up to that later. Uh, this is the room that we're all here for. This is the living room. So, there's not great lighting in there at the moment. Maybe if I whack the light on it might fix it. Um, so, if we start from the left, obviously we've got Spyro, who is sunbathing at present. Hey, hey, pay attention to me. Pay attention, thank you. Hello, you're on camera. Um, over here is uh, where I sit at my desk as such. Um, this is where I did my reviews last week. Probably noticed the beach effect. Um, over here, obviously, we've got the Nabu stuff. I've finally got a place to put it, admittedly. It's a health and safety thing because half of it's kind of hanging over the edge, but it's fine. Uh, i got some more Transformers. These are all the big guys, so... And then down there, obviously, you've got... all of these. So that's that. Uh, if we keep going around, obviously, we've got here. This is just one big-ass cupboard. You open it up, and you've got uh, DVDs. And uh, you've got another cupboard down here, which at the bottom is filled with this crap. There's nothing really there, but then you've got some more DVDs. <laughs> so, quite a few DVDs. Uh, that's what happens when you combine mine and somebody else's together. So, woohoo! Now I've got an ultimate pack. Um, then you've got the fireplace, which has got my uh, Luke Skywalker lightsaber. Uh, also, some of my side shows. So, Plo Koon, Minus Windu. Got Kip Fisto and Qui Gon. Underneath there, you've, you've not really got that much actually, I've not put up with that. Uh, you've got the two Sonic Generation figures. Love those figures, they're amazing. Uh, just a couple of dragons. Keep going, and we've got games. Not tons, but enough to keep me happy. And uh, then if you keep going, you've got the Republic Shuttlecraft thing. <laughs> uh, up here, you've got another Republic gunship. It's the first one I've got, so happy times. Uh, down here we've got, obviously the X-Wing, free view box, woo! <laughs> and the Wii and Xbox, and uh, so you can try the third on the floor. For shame. Uh, if you keep going this way, obviously you've just got the windows. Not a lot to see out there, I don't think. No. Uh, table. Chair. <laughs> Another chair. Um, this is my second shelf. Ah, oh, that one's fallen over. For shame. So that's that. So this is all basically stuff that I couldn't fit in the uh, collector's cupboard. Uh, get out of the way, Joe Bagger! <laughs> yeah, so that was all stuff from my childhood, so I had somebody ask about it the other day. Eh. And obviously my big furry Chewbacca. Sounding happy as always. Uh, then obviously you've got the two sofas. 
and we're just going back on ourselves here so over here we've got another window and then these are all the sideshow figures at the present moment all pretty cool got Commander Bly there, Captain Rex or Captain Rex Commander Bly, whichever way you want to say it uh, Commander Cody and obviously you've got Boiler and Waxer Boiler and Waxer, <laughs> Boiler and Waxer, oh dear uh, Dark Fader as we saw the review last week Anakin Skywalker and Luke Skywalker so it's a little family grouping here um, under here, let me just uh, my lights on, two seconds. Right, so under here we've got some more. We've got the helmets there with them as well. I uh, can see my reflection. Hello! Uh, a bit of glare there, but another figure. And Danny, we've got some more ships. That's that. Uh, so that's basically the living room in a nutshell. So it's nice. Oh, I've also got a couple of pictures up there. That's Nikki's. That's not mine. So oh, and also I missed that out actually. <laughs> See it there? <laughs> Snow speeder. <laughs> See, nowhere can escape my Star Wars stuff. So but it's a nice big lounge, nice big kitchen. Uh, you'd have thought it'd end there for a little student such as myself, but it doesn't. So let's go out here, and this is the stairwell. So as you climb up here, you've got uh, the toilet. Now the door on this thing is actually really small. Uh, like if I stand in it, see, <laughs> it's made for small people. Uh, so I'm not going to delve into the bathroom too much. It's a bathroom, not that exciting. Now this final room uh, isn't really a room that I venture too often. Again, it's got some more stairs, you've got another view out there, you've got a nice castle. So you go out here, and then in here is the bedroom. Which hasn't really got much of my stuff in it, it's all kind of Nicky's stuff, the Doctor Who stuff, and living dead dolls and all that. Uh, those are mine, so I'm thinking about moving them though. They seem kind of wasted here. Uh, the bed's not been made because obviously it's just me today at the moment, so nothing gets kept clean. Really, you know, like I said, this this isn't really my room. It's uh, all Nikki's stuff. So if you like living dead dolls, then this place is heaven for you because she's got tons. There's another like three boxes there that I haven't unpacked. Um, so yeah, and if we go over here, look at this. I just picked this up this morning. It's amazing. Ah. Boop. <laughs> It's 1.39, so pretty awesome, liking it, it's actually really cool, so, and I built that table, I built that table all by myself, go me, oh and that's um, pillow girlfriend, everybody at work made me her, because apparently I don't have a real girlfriend, because nobody sees her, so um, that's that's my release on the weekends, <laughs> so I mean that's, that's kind of the house really, um, House, masonette, whatever you want to call it. I mean, it's got three floors to it, so I don't think I did too badly. This is actually an extra tenor compared to a studio flat, so. But yeah, that's um, that's that really. Pretty cool looking. Right, oh, we've missed out a couple of Star Wars here. We've got one over there, which is a C3PO and R2D2. Got Luke Skywalker, and then down there you've got General Grievous. So yeah. I'll uh, go recap the two main collected areas for you. So we'll just go back on ourselves and go back and do the lounge. I'll just do a quick scan round again for you. So, Spyro again. Yeah, look at you finally noticing us. Oh, he doesn't look happy today. Does not look happy. <laughs> so, this is like I said, the lounge. With all my sideshows in here. And the stuff that was too big to fit anywhere else. Oh look, you see those pod races over there? Yeah, let's just go back to them, yeah. Four pounds. Six pounds. Not thirty-two pound each. No. Stupid price. Uh, but that is by far my pride and joy over there. That's why obviously it's all got such a fancy little section to it. I would put all the sideshows on it, but I don't want it to look cramped. Uh, next one's obviously the battle droids. Uh, we'll take you back again to the kitchen just so we can go into the collector's cupboard. It's really not in an area you'd expect it to be the collector's cupboard, but. What's in here? Oh, 
That shelf, by the way, is empty over there because I've got some more transformers on the way. Uh, I left them all at Dad's. There's like a big box worth, and I forgot about them. So, and I'll see all the. Uh... These are all stuck up, Daniel East style, like blue tack extraordinaire. I just went nuts and blue tacked everything. So <laughs> everything here, pretty much every figure has been blue tacked down. So a bit of a Daniel East moment there, except for Boss. He's decided to fall over. There we go. And uh, those lights, blue tacked on. <laughs> So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that look at it guys. Um, just to let you know, quick sneak peek for anybody who watches this, next week we'll be looking at that guy. Voyager Megatron from Transformers Prime. And uh, yeah, I mean I've tried to keep this fairly short, I don't think 10 minutes is too bad. So I uh, hope you enjoyed that guys, and I shall see you all next week. <laughs>